Good morning and welcome to Morning Prayer from the Episcopal Church of the Atonement in the Edgewater neighborhood of Chicago, Illinois. I'm Brother Rod Fox on this 21st Sunday after Pentecost. And let's see, some people coming in here, so just a moment. If you pray the office using the Book of Common Prayer, Morning Prayer begins as usual on page 80, followed by the Venite on page 82. Just one psalm today, Psalm 68 on page 676, and the Sunday Canticles 16 and 21 on pages 92 and 95. It's our tradition and custom here at Church of the Atonement to light a candle, regardless of where we may be, signifying the presence of God in our midst. Mine is already lit. You may see it behind me there. If that's part of your practice, go ahead and do that now. We'll take just a moment, center ourselves, and begin with morning prayer on this 21st Sunday after Pentecost. Grace to you in peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Lord, open our lips and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Hallelujah. Worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Come, let us adore him. Come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and raise a loud shout to him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great king above all gods. In his hand are the caverns of the earth and the heights of the hills are his also. The sea is his for he made it and his hands have molded the dry land. Come. Let us bow down and bend the knee and kneel before the Lord, our maker. For he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. Oh, that today you would hearken to his voice. Worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Come, let us adore him. Psalm 68. Let God arise and let his enemies be scattered. Let those who hate him flee before him. Let them vanish like smoke when the wind drives it away. As the wax melts at the fire, so let the wicked perish at the presence of God. But let the righteous be glad and rejoice before God. Let them also be merry and joyful. Sing to God, sing praises to his name, exalt him who rides upon the heavens. Yahweh is his name. Rejoice before him. Father of orphans, defender of widows. God in his holy habitation. God gives the solitary a home and brings forth prisoners into freedom. But the rebels shall live in dry places. O oh God, when you went forth before your people, when you marched through the wilderness, the earth shook and the skies poured down rain at the presence of God, the God of Sinai. At the presence of God, the God of Israel. You sent a gracious rain, O God, upon your inheritance. You refreshed the land when it was weary. Your people found their home in it. In your goodness, O God, you have made provision for the poor. The Lord gave the word. Great was the company of women who bore the tidings. Kings with their armies are fleeing away. The women at home are dividing the spoils. Though you lingered among the sheepfolds, you shall be like a dove whose wings are covered with silver, whose feathers are like green gold. When the Almighty scattered kings, It was like snow falling in Zalman. O mighty mountain, O hill of Bashan. O rugged mountain, O hill of Bashan. Why do you look with envy, O rugged mountain, at the hill which God chose for his resting place? Truly the Lord will dwell there forever. The chariots of God are 20,000, even thousands of thousands. The Lord comes in holiness from Sinai. 
You have gone up on high and led captivity captive. You have received gifts even from your enemies. That the Lord God might dwell among them. Blessed be the Lord day by day. The God of our salvation who bears our burdens. He is our God, the God of our salvation. God is the Lord by whom we escape death. God shall crush the heads of his enemies and the hairy scalp of those who go on still in their wickedness. The Lord has said, I will bring them back from Bashan. I will bring them back from the depths of the sea that your foot may be dipped in blood. The tongues of your dogs and the blood of your enemies. They say your procession, O God. Your procession into the sanctuary, my God and my King. The singers go before, musicians follow after. In the midst of maidens playing upon the hand drums. Bless God in the congregation. Bless the Lord, you that are of the fountain of Israel. There is Benjamin, least of the tribes at the head, the princes of Judah in a company, and the princes of Zebulon and Naphtali. Set forth your strength, O God. Establish, O God, what you have wrought for us. Kings shall bring gifts to you. For your temple's sake at Jerusalem. Rebuke the wild beast of the reeds. And the peoples, a herd of wild bulls with its calves. Trample down, trample down those who lust after silver. Scatter the peoples that delight in war. Let tribute be brought out of Egypt. Let Ethiopia stretch out her hands to God. Sing to God, O kingdoms of the earth. Sing praises to the Lord. He rides in the heavens, the ancient heavens. He sends forth his voice, his mighty voice. Ascribe power to God. His majesty is over Israel. His strength is in the skies. How wonderful is God in his holy places. The God of Israel giving strength and power to his people. Blessed be God. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from the book of Micah. Hear what the Lord says. Rise, plead your case before the mountains, and let the hills hear your voice. Hear, you mountains, the controversy of the Lord, and you enduring foundations of the earth. For the Lord has a controversy with his people, and he will contend with Israel. O oh, my people, what have I done to you? And what have I wearied you? Answer me. For I brought you up from the land of Egypt, and redeemed you from the house of slavery, and I sent before you Moses, Aaron, and Miriam. O oh, my people, remember now what King Balak of Moab devised, what Balaam, son of Beor, answered him, and what happened from Shittim to Gilgal, that you may know the saving acts of the Lord. With what shall I come before the Lord, and bow myself before God on high? Shall I come before him with burnt offerings, with calves a year old? Will the Lord be pleased with thousands of rams, with ten thousands of rivers of oil? Shall I give my firstborn for my transgression, the fruit of my body for the sin of my soul? He has told you, O mortal, what is good, and what does the Lord require of you, but to do justice, and to love kindness, and to walk humbly with your God. Here ends the reading. Canticle 16, the Song of Zechariah, on page 92. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. 
This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from the first letter of Paul to the Corinthians. I think that God has exhibited us apostles as last of all, as though sentenced to death, because we have become a spectacle to the world, to angels and to mortals. We are fools for the sake of Christ, but you are wise in Christ. We are weak, but you are strong. You are held in honor, but we in disrepute. To the present hour, we are hungry and thirsty. We are poorly clothed and beaten and homeless, and we grow weary from the work of our own hands. When reviled, we bless. When persecuted, we endure. When slandered, we speak kindly. We become like the rubbish of the world, the dregs of all things to this very day. I am not writing this to make you ashamed, but to admonish you as my beloved children. For though you might have 10,000 guardians in Christ, you do not have many fathers. Indeed, in Christ Jesus, I became your father through the gospel. I appeal to you then, be imitators of me. Here ends the reading. Canticle 21, the Te Deum, on page 95. You are God, we praise you. You are the Lord, we acclaim you. You are the eternal Father, all creation worships you. To you, all angels, all the powers of heaven, cherubim and seraphim, sing in endless praise. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power of might. <coughs> Excuse me. Heaven and earth are full of your glory. The glorious company of apostles praise you. The noble fellowship of prophets praise you. The white-robed army of martyrs praise you. Throughout the world, the Holy Church acclaims you. Father of majesty unbounded, your true and only Son, worthy of all worship and the Holy Spirit, advocate and guide. You, Christ, are the King of glory, the eternal Son of the Father. When you became man to set us free, you did not shun the virgin's womb. You overcame the sting of death and opened the kingdom of heaven to all believers. You are seated at God's right hand in glory. We believe that you will come and be our judge. Come then, Lord, and help your people, bought with the price of your own blood, and bring us with your saints to glory everlasting. The Apostles' Creed on page 96, followed by the Lord's Prayer on page 97, and Suffrages B on page 98. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you, and also with you. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Save your people, Lord, and bless your inheritance. Govern and uphold them, now and always. Day by day we bless you. We praise your name forever. Lord, keep us from all sin today. Have mercy on us, Lord, have mercy. Lord, show us your love and mercy, while we put our trust in you. In you, Lord, is our hope, and we shall never hope in vain. Lord, we pray that your grace may always proceed and follow us, that we may continually be given to good works through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. 
O God, you make us glad with the weekly remembrance of the glorious resurrection of your Son, our Lord. Give us this day such blessing through our worship of you, that the week to come may be spent in your favor, through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. O God, you have made of one blood all the peoples of the earth, and sent your blessed Son to preach peace to those who are far off and to those who are near. Grant that people everywhere may seek after you and find you, bring the nations into your fold, pour out your spirit upon all flesh, and hasten the coming of your kingdom, through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. We now come to the prayers on behalf of the Episcopal Church of the Atonement and the wider church. Give me off whatever prayers, petitions, and thanksgivings you have, either silently or aloud. If you have a particular prayer request, you can put it in the chat feature of this broadcast, and I will do my best to get to it through the course of the prayers which are about to follow. Our prayers for the week of October 13th. For the sick, for those in any need or trouble, and for all those who have asked for our prayers. Steve, Jeff, Travis, George, and Rodney, Blanco, Tori, Jim, Pam, Jonathan, Devin, Killian, Dennis, Becky, former President Carter, Kelly, Gregory, and Janine, Taylor, Ron E., Jim, Bill, Andrea, Mark, Karen, Janice, John, Kurt, Jameson, Robert, Tony, Matt, all who mourn, especially Tim, for Ken, Deacon, John, Elizabeth, Roger, Thomas, and Greg, Priest. For an end to war, division, violence, and injustice, especially in the Middle East, Venezuela, Nicaragua, Haiti, Ukraine, Russia, Myanmar, Sudan, and Darfur. We pray for justice, for an end to violence and discord in our city and nation. For all health care workers, especially Joseph Basil, Jackie, Will, Choi, Erica Kay, Larry, Kieran, Lee, Carrie, William, Eric, Lisa, Thomas, and Emily. For all families and children in the city and state, and for all prisoners. For members of our military services on active duty, especially Celeste and Nate, and for Scott, serving in security in Iraq. For Michael, our presiding bishop, Sean, our presiding bishop-elect, Paula, our bishop, Charles, our rector, Amanda and Dave, our wardens, and for the members of our vestry. For our sister parishes of St. Benedict's and St. Matthew's in Chiapas, Mexico. For all still recovering from the recent hurricanes, for all running for public office, and for all participating in today's Chicago Marathon. For the birthdays of Michael Walsh, Glenn Malick, Rose Beal, and Ed Hebson. The wedding anniversaries of Eric and Mary Celeste, Mary Celeste Slusser, Greg Bradley and Ricardo Viota, Ryan and PJ Strand Pruitt, Ed Spire and Tanya Evanoff, Mark Capetti and Jerry Arietta. For the first anniversary of the installation of Father Charles Everson as the 12th Rector of Church of the Atonement. And we pray for the departed, remembering Sharon Hunter Putsch, Cecilia Miller, the mother of Tim Miller, Les Matheny, and Ethel Kennedy. And at the anniversaries of their deaths for Florence Burke, Dorothy Piper, mm -hmm. Beverly Rowland, Keeley Deek, Ronald Working, Cora Kraus, Lucia Biagioli, Tyrese Butler, Anna Harris, Mary Gray Kay, and Georgette Crow. And we offer this prayer for peace. Almighty God, kindle, we beseech you in every heart, the true love of peace, and guide with your wisdom those who take counsel for the nations of the earth, that in, tranquil and that in tranquility your dominion may increase till the earth be filled with the knowledge of your love, through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. The General Thanksgiving on page 101. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, your unworthy servants, give you humble thanks for your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you have made. We bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life. And above all, for your immeasurable love and the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies, that with truly thankful hearts, we may show forth your praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to your service, and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days, through Jesus Christ, our Lord, to whom with you in the Holy Spirit be honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. 
Glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to him from generation to generation in the church and in Christ Jesus forever and ever. Amen. That concludes morning prayer on this 21st Sunday after Pentecost from the Church of the Atonement in Chicago, Illinois. We're here every morning at 8.30 a.m. on Google Meet for morning prayer. It is Sunday, so the 8 o'clock Mass is about to, to conclude, followed by the 9. Our 11 is broadcast live on YouTube. You can watch it live or at your leisure later down the road. Throughout the week, there are plenty of opportunities to worship at Church of the Atonement. On Monday morning, we have a Mass at 7.30. On Tuesday at noon, this Wednesday, our first even song of the season with the St. Cecilia Choir at 7 p.m. A Thursday Mass at noon, Friday morning at 7.30. Saturday, the Rosary at 9.30, Father the Healing Mass at 10 o'clock. Have yourself a great day, everyone. Thank you so much for being here with us this morning. Take care out there. God bless.